alkaline body. Everyone knows if you're fighting the sea or you're having any kind of serious issues health-wise, you need to get your body to alkaline. Um, acidic body, high disease rate. Alkaline body, longevity. So generally I'll do alkaline water which contains of mint, ginger, uh, cucumbers, and lemons. I have showed you how to do that, but I'm out of it. And when you're out of that, there's another thing you can do. Celtic sea salt. Celtic sea salt will keep your body alkaline. It's full of minerals. So this is what I do when I'm out of my alkaline water. I literally will just take a little bit of this Celtic sea salt. Just a tiny bit. So this will really alkaline. Alkalize. Ooh, that's a little much. But take a pinch of this under your tongue. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will put it in water under your tongue is better, sublingually. Mm -hmm. So when I'm out of my alkaline water, this is one way you can keep your body alkaline. Full bottle of water after, chef's kiss. Every household across America should have a bottle of Celtic sea salt ready to rip and roar when you are out of alkaline. This will help keep your body alkaline, will help keep you young. Um, this also, in addition to baking soda, will help you with bloating if you're out of dandelion tea. I did some last night because I had no dandelion tea and I was severely bloated yesterday. Remember I talked to you about it. My bloating is a little better this morning. Do the Celtic sea salt like I showed you and then follow it with a whole glass of baking soda water. <laughs> All right. Have a nice day. Thank you for listening.